When we proposed it to English Heritage, I, I never thought they'd accept. But sometimes the crazy ideas are actually the best ideas. My name is William Matthews, and along with Laurent Ney and Mathieu Mellier from Ney & Partners, we are the engineers and the designers of the Tintagel Castle footbridge. The footbridge reconnects the two sides of the medieval castle built in the 12th century by Richard Earl of Cornwall. The mainland ward and the island ward were connected by a, an isthmus of rock, which has since eroded away, and the bridge recreates that link between the two sides. One of the key drivers behind the project, indeed its very raison d'etre, was to improve accessibility to the site. One of the major problems at Tintagel is this incredibly rocky landscape. We wanted to be able to get lots of people here who couldn't get here before. Because there were so many steps up to the island, a lot of people couldn't because they had bad knees, they used wheelchairs, whatever it was. Now we have essentially step-free access right from the car park all the way through onto the site. And it was so satisfying on the opening day to see literally a queue of uh, wheelchair users from the local village uh, queue up to be the first person to cross the bridge and onto the island, something that they might not have done for many, many years. In my mind, this was a textbook example of how you should design a major piece of engineering in a really sensitive heritage or archaeological site. You could look at all sorts of designs for bridges that would actually have to go through the archaeology on the surface of the island. The elegance of this solution was that it's anchored into the rock on either side below the sensitive archaeology. Very, very clever. The materials we used were important not just structurally, but also how it tied into its landscape, its situation. For the bridge deck, we've used Delabor slate, which is mined from uh, the quarry just two miles away. 40,000 hand split and hand cut slates have all been laid on edge, like after eight mints. And it gives that, that wonderful sound as you walk across and that unique experience, that you feel under your foot. When you step out onto the bridge, it's, um, it's really amazing because you hear all the clitter clatter of the slate. It's such a clever design and the views are absolutely astonishing. It's wonderful. One word that sort of encapsulates the building, it's, it's not a very architectural word, but it's, for me, it's, it's fun. And it's the kind of project that you can see so easily in the faces of users, that the fun and the enjoyment they're getting from the project, and that's extremely gratifying.